Well, g'day and welcome to episode number 17 of Noob Eden. Today we are going to try and help answer the question or, or get you started on how do I go about just fitting a ship? Where do I even start? Like there's such a, an incredible array of modules and things that I can fit onto a ship. Where do I begin and what, where can I get ideas about what makes a good fit compared to a bad fit? So here we are sitting in Jita Trade Hub in our little Punisher. And by the way, if you have not logged in in a while, it is worth logging in just to check out the incredible, beautiful new interior of the Jita Trade Hub. Amazing artwork. Fantastic. Uh, now, I've decided that I want to be, let's say, a Kestrel pilot. A Kestrel is a T1 Kaldari frigate. And for whatever reason, by the way, your reasons don't have to make sense to anybody else. Can I just say, if these are a particular ship you want to fly for whatever reason, don't let anyone tell you that, well, that's garbage, That's you shouldn't fly that, whatever. Now, there might be reasons why it may not be the best ship for certain jobs, but guys, if you love flying a ship, make make the most of it. It's absolutely fine. So for some reason, I've chosen I want to be a Kestrel pilot. Let's just say I love the look of a Kestrel. So I got to start, I guess, asking the question, well, how do I fit a Kestrel? As a alpha, fairly low-skilled pilot, how can I fit a Kestrel that may actually be any good? So I'm, first of all, going to open up my fitting window, and you'll see that my little puncture here has nothing fitted. So how do I start fitting out a Kestrel? First things first, let's actually get Kestrel into our fitting window. So I'm going to go to the market here. I'm going to search for Kestrel. And I'm just going to click and drag that onto my fitting window. And suddenly now I'm in the simulation mode where I can simulate the fitting for a Kestrel. Now it's empty. There's nothing on it. Where do I start? We are going to jump out of Eve client for the moment. And we're going to jump over to a tool called zkillboard.com. Now here we are at Z Killboard, or depending on what part of the world you live in, Z Killboard, often just referred to as Z Kill. Zekill is a website um, tool that basically takes virtually all of the kills, the kill mails within Eve, and collects them all and collects them uh, for reference and record. Uh, I say virtually all because you can actually opt out if you don't want your Eve kill mails to show up here, but nearly all of the kills in the game pop up here. And we are going to use this as a resource to find out who is flying Kestrels, who are the best pilots flying Kestrels, and how do they fit their Kestrels? And then from there, we're going to take that and modify it to suit ourselves. Now, this is not going to be a deep dive into the workings of Zekiel. We can do that, I guess, in another time. But for today, we're just going to use it for our purpose. I am going to go up to the advanced search here and I'm going to type in Kestrel. And I want to then click on Kestrel because I want to get some details about who are the top guys flying these. Well, down here, I can see an option that says top. I'm going to go to the monthly top. I want to know in the last month who are the best Kestrel pilots. Now, because this is very early in the month, there's not a lot here. So I'm actually going to change my selection from July back to the previous month of June. Now, I'm flying solo, so I also want to just filter it for solo pilots. So in beta is the solo filter here. So I can see now for the month of June, this guy here, Space Muffin, was the top solo Kestrel pilot in EVE with 36 kills. This might be a good place to get some information on how to fit a Kestrel. So let's click on Space Muffin. And I want to now only look at his losses because I want to go through and find a Kestrel that he has lost. And looking at the list, this one here, very recent, he's got a Kestrel loss. So I'm going to click on that and here is the kill mail for this particular kill now this shows me how space muffin has fit out his kestrel and i know that he's doing a lot of solo kills on this because he was the top kestrel solo pilot so if you're looking for a fit you want to look for things that are going to be uh, i guess a correlation to how you're flying if you're flying in fleets with others, then obviously you're going to seek information from them. But a lot of times newer players are doing this on their own in solo or just finding their way. So I can have a look down and I can see, all right, this guy's got uh, an ancillary armor repper. So he's doing his own reps. So that would indicate a solo pilot. Uh, I can see that he's got a warp scrambler and an afterburner. So he's obviously you know, got these modules here to the scrambler will, will stop um, opponents warping off. 
and his afterburner for range control. So this looks like a pretty good fit for a solo pilot. So we're going to take this fit and we're going to steal it. Well, there's nothing new in Eve. We're just going to borrow his, his ideas because I'm sure he's probably borrowed the idea from someone else as well. Now, before I do this, I am going to actually log in to Z kill we're using my noob Eden character now as part of the login process you will see before you authorize what you are actually authorizing Z kill to have permission to do in this case the one we're looking at here is the right fittings so we're actually giving Z kill the permission to take a particular fit and write it to our in-game account actually post that into our in-game fitting tool uh, which is exactly what we want to do in this case so here we are back at our Kestrel kill that we are going to borrow from Space Muffin. And I'm going to go up here to export. Now that I've logged in, I'll be able to import that fit via the ESI. And when I click on that, I get a little message that says that fit is now successfully saved to your character's fitting. So let's jump back in game and hopefully that little Kestrel fit should now be in our fitting tool. So here we are back in game inside the hulls and fits. I'm going to do a search for Kestrel. And lo and behold, in the Kaldari frigates under Kestrel, there is Space Muffin's Kestrel. And I can see a little message that says it's been imported from Zekiel. If I click on that now, it's actually going to simulate that fit. So uh, exactly as it was fit by Space Muffin, but without the cargo hold. So we're going to fill that. We're going to use uh, the appropriate ammunition, everything. We're going to show you how to do that as we go through. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is that I cannot fly this ship. And I can tell that I can't fly it by this little warning symbol here. And as I hover over it, it tells me I've got some incomplete skills. And the modules that I can't use are highlighted by these little orange exclamation marks. In fact, to be able to fly this ship uh, with the modules that are currently fitted onto it, I'm going to have to train for another 25 days. Now, bear in mind, this is an alpha uh, and it trains at half the speed of an Omega account. Um, so I want to know, well, what can I do? What can I change here to make this something that I can actually work with or get closer or more realistic to be able to actually use? Well, let's start at the top with our actual rocket launchers. Now, this is a rocket Kestrel and it's using rocket launcher 2s, which is a Tech 2 version. Now, at the moment, I can see there's no DPS because there's no ammunition loaded. So let's actually see what kind of DPS I would get. So I'm going to go show info. And in the information, I'm going to go with used with. This is the ammunition ammunition that this module uses. So I'm going to go with some Tech 2. Let's drop in some Nova Rage rockets. Now I'm going to click and drag just into the middle of the simulation window. It will load the entire rack with those rockets. And I can see I'm getting 67.4 DPS. Now, bear in mind, this character has very low skills. With all skills at 5, this Kestrel actually works out at around about 150 DPS and about three and a half thousand EHP. Now clearly we're nowhere near that, but for the sake of the process, I'm gonna go through as if this was the thing I wanted to fly. How could I, what's the best I could get this so that I can actually use it now? So clearly I'm gonna to have to swap out something across the top here. So in the simulation mode, there are some shortcuts. This radial menu will allow me to, in this case, unload all the ammo for these. Now, what can I replace this rocket launcher 2 with that I can use? So I'm going to actually right click on it and I'm going to find type in browser. Now, when I click on that, it actually lists for me the rocket launcher 2 here in my modules. Now, if this gets a little bit uh, messy with many things open, you can actually collapse all the groups at once and start again. So I'm going to go right click, find type in browser, it will highlight the rocket launcher too. And I can see above here, there are some, some what we call meta versions or some different versions of the rocket launcher that I could use. Now, one of those meta modules is this Arbalest rocket launcher one. So if I double click uh, that, I'm gonna put double click four times. I'm gonna put four of those on. And you'll see now that in my training, my incomplete skills list, it suddenly dropped from that 25 days down to the 11 days because some of that training time or a big bulk of that was in the Tech 2 rocket launcher. Let's see what kind of DPS now I get with some ammo. So I'm going to right click show info. Let's see what ammunition I can use with this Arbalest rocket launcher. You'll see that the Tech 2 ammunition is not available because it's not a Tech 2 rocket launcher, but I am going to use some of this faction. So we were looking at Nova before. I'm going to drag in some Kaldari Navy Nova rocket, 
And instead of the 67 DPS, I'm at 48, but hey, this is something I can fly. Obviously, I'm not going to be as um, powerful as uh, the original fit, the Tech 2 fit, but I'm, I'm building something that I know I can fly that is probably about the best I can do with the skills that I have. Right, now we're going to go through and repeat that process with some of these other modules. So if I hover over here, I'm still getting uh, exclamation marks on my rockets, and that's because I haven't trained rockets at all. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's have a look down at my mid slots here. I've got a Warp Scrambler 2. Well, I'm going to just tidy up my groups. I'm going to right click, find the type in browser, and I'm going to find the meta. In this case, instead of a Warp Scrambler 2, let's put a j5b and i'm going to uh first of all i need to remove this one put the j5b on and you'll see now uh, i don't have the exclamation mark over the scramble let's do the same with the webs i'm going to right click find type in browser and instead of a webifier 2 i'm going to put on let's say uh, an x5 enduring so i'm going to remove these put on two of the x5s and now I've got my training time. Wow, we're down to five days and I've still got a dual web rocket Kestrel so far. Let's look at the afterburner, right click, find type in browser. Instead of the one mega newton afterburner two, I may put on a YS8 compact. So let's remove that one and double click that and three days 11 hours and now i've got no error messages over my mid slot i do have one down here on my low slot which is the damage control 2 so let's right click find type in browser and instead of the damage control 2 i'm going to use an iwfa so let's unfit that i'll use this meta module here uh crikey we are down to 50 minutes of training time from our 25 days i've still got a a very similar fit to that uh, Tech 2 Space Muffin version. Obviously, it's not as powerful, but this is a pretty good Tech 1 Rocket Kestrel that I could go out now and get some experience in PvP in. Uh, well, not quite yet. I do need to train two little things here. My 50 minutes train are going to be the Kaldari Frigate 1 and Rockets 1. So if you've got some skill points, you can actually go through... I could buy and train those straight away. Let's, in fact, let's do it. Let's take it right through. Uh, now that I've got those skills, I can uh, right click, apply my skill points. So if you've got some up your sleeve from hopefully your recruitment link or things that you've earned through events, I'm going to go through and just right click on Rockets 1, apply the skill points. Uh, 250 so 750 skill points all we use there and that ladies and gentlemen is a pretty darn good t1 rocket kestrel fit that we've taken from uh zekiel we've modified it to suit our skills and uh that's something now we can go out and have a bit of fun in and know that we've actually got a reasonably well fit in this case dual web rocket self-repping kestrel now don't forget to save it so in this case i'm going to go save as and i'm going to change the name to something that works for you my kestrel whatever you want to call it and save it for your character so that you can now call it up in fact i could multi-buy that as well if i wanted to buy one right here in jita i can open up the multi-buy buy that and uh, i can jump straight in that knowing that i can go out and fly it and uh, have a bit of fun guys that was actually i really enjoyed that it was a lot of fun we're from starting from an empty fit and trying to figure out you know what i can do that actually makes sense so that it's not a silly fit and uh, hopefully you guys will go out and uh, you can obviously do that with any ship it doesn't have to be a kestrel if you want to learn to fly a tristan go and search for the monthly top tristan follow the same process uh fit them up Take them out for a uh, for a fight, get blowed up, and have a great time. Good job, everyone. Well done.